Joining me now, Victor Davis Hansen, Hoover Institution Senior Fellow. Victor, we call it uh, the fog of war. This is the fog of a lot more than war here. There's an enormous amount of propaganda. You see it on TikTok. I wouldn't doubt that the Chinese are pushing some of this, but uh, this is now a dangerous moment. Do we have a serious administration to confront it? Yeah, I think people in the Middle East wanted to know whether the Afghan humiliation, the Putin invasion, the Chinese balloon, our open border was an aberration, or did we really lose deterrence and have adopted full-scale appeasement? And now they look at uh, Biden's failed Middle East effort, the idea of giving Iran $6 billion, which he hasn't canceled, the restoration of money to the Palestinians. And by the way, I, I might add, the message that's going out in the Middle East is, if you have a lie that the Israelis hit a hospital and you promulgate it all over the Western and the Middle Eastern worlds, and you get protests, then the American president humiliated uh, because he has no deterrence, then he will give you a $100 million Dangeld. And the funny thing is, that in a weird way, Laura, we're basically saying to the Palestinians, go kill Israeli children and women, and we're going to reward you out with $100 million. And what's even worse is, we're saying to the world, if that missile that was intended to kill Jewish civilians in Tel Aviv had not missed the target and accidentally hurt some or killed some Palestinians, then we wouldn't even give them money probably. We only giving money because we're paranoid, they're angry over a lie that, uh, that the Israelis did something. But it, if it wasn't a lie and they had really killed Israelis as intended, we probably would have said, well, that's okay. We don't really mind that. And so it's really a morally bankrupt administration. I hate to say that because we all have to be stick together. But when you look at what they're doing to our troops in uh, Iraq, and you look at what's going on in, here on our campuses and in New York, and even at the Capitol, you get the, the impression where this is much worse than 1980 with Jimmy Carter. You have a complete meltdown of U.S. deterrence. Yeah throughout the world. It's very dangerous, very dangerous in the next 15 and months in general and specifically in the next week.